Welcome to the chapter Changing Family Structure. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Know the reasons for changes in the family Explain how the present-day families are different from that of the past Identify the benefits of joint families Know the reasons for the increase in the number of nuclear or small families Describe why people started using more and more home appliances? Let us first start with the introduction. We all know that a family is a group of two or more people who reside together and who are related by birth, marriage or adoption. In our country, a family generally includes mother, father, grandfather, grandmother and children. However, we also come across joint families which include father's younger brother, his wife, father's elder brother, his wife, in addition to mother, father, grandfather, grandmother and children. Have you ever asked your grandparents how their families were in their childhood? Do you know how the present-day families are different from that of the past? Do you think the members of a family always stay together? Do you know why changes take place in a family? When compared to the structure of families in olden days, the present generation family structures are different and are changing. In this chapter, let us know about the reasons behind the changing family structure. Now, we will start our learning with one of the prime reasons why family structures change, that is birth. A girl called Sia, who is studying in class 4, is full of happiness and excitement as her mother gave birth to a baby girl. After a few days in the hospital, Sia's mother and her new baby sister came back to their home. With the arrival of a new member in Sia's family, many changes occurred in their home. Many new duties and responsibilities will be there for the family like giving bath to the baby, carrying and pampering the baby, cooking special food, controlling a crying baby, etc. Sia's family took a great care of the new family member. All her family members helped the mother in performing various activities. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us now perform an activity of identifying the family members of Sia. Now, it's time to know about the next most important reason for change in the family structure. It is marriage. Priya's house is fully decorated with lights as her brother Pramod is getting married. After the marriage, the bride came to Priya's house. With this marriage, a new member entered Priya's house. Thus, it is clear that changes occur in families with the marriage or birth of a newborn. Moreover, changes in family structure happen even if any family member leaves the family because of job, death 
or any other reason. Therefore, changes in a family occur whenever a member joins or leaves. Knowledge Check Attempt the following question to check your understanding. Here, let us go through another reason, new place or transfer. A boy named Harsha lives in a city with his joint family. His father received a letter from his office which stated that he got a promotion and should move to another city. Being a joint family, Harsha lives with his mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, uncle or father's younger brother, aunt or younger brother's wife and their children. Because of his father's transfer, Harsha's family had to vacate their house and relocate to the new place. Harsha has a friend called Vikram. Vikram's father also got a promotion. He was also transferred to another town. However, like Harsha's father, Vikram's father didn't relocate his entire family to the town but instead started traveling to and fro. Thus, till now, what we can conclude is family structure will not be the same always. Changes occur in every family because of many reasons like births, marriages, transfers, etc. There are other reasons also for change in family structure like education, business, migration for employment, occurrence of earthquakes, floods, death of any family member, and so on. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. The reason why changes take place in families can be known by comparing the present times with the past times. Now, it's time to do so. As we all know, a joint family is a joint family. In the olden days, most of the families were joint families. Joint families are families which include members like grandmother, grandfather, aunts, uncles, children, etc. living together as a single family. In joint families, all the members help each other in their daily activities. All the family members share their happiness and problems together. In joint families, the grandparents use to help the kids in many ways. They use it to tell their grandchildren many stories, interesting facts and use it to clarify many doubts. In joint families, all the members use it to have meals together chat together and help each other. As days passed by, the joint families got converted into nuclear families due to various reasons like employment, division of properties, etc. In the present days, joint families are hardly found. Nowadays, we mostly find families with just mother, father and children. Such type of families are called nuclear families. Even though the families have grandparents, they are not taken care of and are left at old age homes. Also parents in some families keep their children in hostels for education. Let us now look at how changes in the families affect the method of doing work. In the olden days, people used to do their work by themselves or with the help of family members. Whereas now, with less number of people in families, people started hiring workers to do the work. In addition, people started using more and more home appliances like refrigerator, mixer grinder, microwave oven, induction stove, vacuum cleaner, wet grinder, geyser, washing machine, etc. for household work. In the current generation, home appliances have changed the complete scenario of doing work. Now, 
people are using the electric appliances for almost all works. They use electric appliances for cleaning the house, washing clothes, grinding food items, cooking, etc. With the usage of more and more electric appliances like grinders, washing machines, etc., more electricity is being consumed. Thus, it is good to do the work manually with our hands. By doing the work manually, we not only reduce the consumption of electricity but also improve our health to a great extent. Last but not the least, by doing work manually, we will realize the importance and value of work. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here, we will do an activity of identifying the names of different home appliances. Activity 2. Drag and Drop Identify the names of the following electric appliances and drag and drop the respective name under the respective image. Keywords. List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. A family is a group of two or more people who reside together and who are related by birth, marriage or adoption. Joint families or families which include members like grandmother, grandfather, aunts, uncles, children etc living together as a single family changes in a family occur whenever a member joins or leaves family structure will not be the same always changes occur in every family because of many reasons like education business migration for employment occurrence of earthquakes floods death of any family member etc as days passed by, the joint families got converted into nuclear families due to various reasons like employment, division of properties, etc. In the current generation, home appliances have changed the complete scenario of doing work. Improve your learning. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work Go and talk to your grandparents. Ask them whether they had the home appliances in their childhood. Have they used them? How they did they work when these were not there? What do they feel about the appliances that are used today? Ask them and make a note. Have any new students joined in your class or school? Talk to them, know and tell about the changes that took place in their families and the kind of work they did. Where did he or she come from? How was his or her old school? What new things he or she observed here? Did he or she like the present atmosphere? Why? How was your family in the past? How is it now? What type of family is yours? A joint family or a nuclear family? Which one do you feel is better? Why? Think and write down your views in your diary. Go and talk to your grandparents 
Ask them whether they had the home appliances in their childhood. Have they used them? How they did they work when these were not there? What do they feel about the appliances they are used today? Ask them and make a note. Visit the homes of any five of your friends. Collect information on the home appliances used in their houses and write in a tabular format as shown below. Paste the photos of your family before and after your birth. Write down what changes took place in the family. Draw or paste the pictures of your family members on a chart. Say and write what work they do. Evaluation Test your understanding of the lesson by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Changing Family Structure.